OK, let's check out the pattern export on Ultraboot. Down at the bottom of Ultraboot, where it says pattern here, there's a little silver block with dots on it. When you mouse over the block, it says drag to a range window. So, I choose pattern number one, my basic beat, and I drag this silver block away from Ultraboot with the left mouse and export pattern number one. Boom. Next, pattern number two, the clap beat. Drag and export. Then I'll choose pattern number one again, the basic beat. Drag and export. And finally, pattern number three, the snare roll beat. Drag and export. OK, now we don't need the pattern mode on anymore. And we turn off Ultra Beat Sequencer completely. And now when we hit play in Logic, the Ultra Beat Sequencer will not run. Ultra Beat is now acting as a sound generating device, being triggered by the exported patterns on its track. Yeah. And exported patterns are identical to the Ultra Beat versions. Here's pattern number one from Ultra Beat. And the same pattern exported. They're identical. If we look at this pattern number one in piano, it, right, right, there's the hi hats. And you can see that every other hi hat is much less in velocity, exactly the same as in our Ultra Beat pattern look. And you'll also notice that every other hi hat is pushed back in time off its vertical 16th line. That's because of the swing on the hi hats. And it's the same for this clap on the 10th step. It's been pushed back in time off its line to match the hi-hat because we put swing on the claps as well. And it's the same with the last little 16th snare here. It's also pushed back in time off its vertical 16th line to match the hats because we put swing on the snare also. OK, so everything gets exported correctly. All the note velocity, all the swing, everything. Now, another thing that gets exported with the patterns is accent. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this region back in time a 16th and then drag the front out so we can clearly see the first step. OK, and these two dark vertical lines on the first step and the ninth step they are the accents on the 1 and the 9 living inside the exported pattern as MIDI control data. And the height of the vertical ladder is the amount of the accent. OK, now I can show you that double whammy with the accent bug now. Remember the accent bug? OK, pattern number 1. I'll solo the kick. We've got the accent on the 1 and the 9 and we know the bug. With the accent lamp on, the kick receives accent on the 1 and 9. But if we turn the lamp off, the kick still gets the blasted accent. OK, well, here's the double whammy. If the accent is coming into Ultrabeat as control data from an exported pattern, then these on-off lamps work for every voice as they should. So, the kick drum lamp for the accent is on and it responds to the incoming accent on the 1 and 9 as it should from the exported pattern. Turn the lamp off and it stops responding to the accent correctly as it should. <laughs> so there's your um, double whammy to this accent bug. These on-off lamps to turn the accent off for individual voices only works correctly for every single voice if Ultrabeat is responding to incoming accent from an exported pattern. Well, it's balmy, but there it is. Okay, so the accent lives in the exported pattern as MIDI control data, and the controller that Ultrabeat uses for accent in exported patterns is the MIDI controller Poly Pressure. <laughs> poly Pressure? Poly Pressure? Okay. Now, if you want to edit the accents in an exported pattern, you can't do it in MIDI Draw in Piano Edit. Okay. 
you cannot see the MIDI controller poly pressure in MIDI draw in piano edit so we can't see that controller or edit it in piano roll okay if we want to edit the accents in our exported pattern to make them more or less we have to do it in event list here and here are the poly pressure accent events these two are the accent on step one and these two are the accent on step nine every accent in your pattern is represented by two poly pressure accent events you always get an on event at a value above zero normally 50 60 70 something but the on event is always closely followed by an off event at a value of zero at the end of the step and this off event stops the on event from carrying over to subsequent steps so there's the on event for step one closely followed by the off event and there's the on event for step nine closely followed by the off event at a value of zero okay now you must never edit the poly pressure zero value events leave those alone all right so here's the accent on the first step at a value of 68 and i'll push it up to something much higher 110 and you see the accent vertical ladder in the region display here it goes right up higher to represent the rise in value to 110 okay now here's the on event at a value of 68 on the ninth step I'll push that up to 110 as well and that accent on the 1 and the 9 has been pushed right up to 110 much louder accent Okay, now I'm going to lower both those accents down, and you may not know this, but hold down Command, highlight all your accent on events, and if you drag the value of one, you're dragging them all. So I'll drag them both back down to 70, much lower, and the two vertical ladders on the region display reflect that. And now the accent is lower. All right, so that's how you edit your accent data. Okay, now to get rid of accent out of a pattern completely, command and left click and highlight all your poly pressure events, backspace or delete to get rid. Or another way to do it is just delatch this notes button and that removes all the note events from your list and you're left with just the poly pressure. Highlight the lot, backspace or delete to get rid. Okay, so all my poly pressure events are highlighted. Bang, delete and I've removed all the accent from the pattern. Right. So that's how you edit your accent poly pressure in a pattern. You must do it in event list here. Now, what if you want to put accent into a pattern? Maybe the pattern didn't have any accent when it was exported, and you want to add accents in, or you want to add additional accents into an exported pattern. Well, look, the bottom line is, don't bother trying to input accent poly pressure data into your pattern in event list or any other editor okay I mean you're welcome to try but you'll be living in a world of pain and hurt okay it's just not practically possible so if you want to add accent into an exported pattern the only sensible solution is you open ultrabeat choose the pattern and then add in the additional accents that you want, set the accent amount, and re-export the pattern and replace the old one. It's as simple as that. Okay, so that's the pattern export in Ultraboot.